Come. Sorry. Ambassador, I had no idea you were here. I believe you know my crew. I will speak with you alone, Kirk. Please excuse us. Ambassador, I would have come to Vulcan to express my deepest sympathies. Spare me your human platitudes, Kirk. I have been to your government. I've seen the Genesis information and your own report. Then you know how bravely your son met his death. Why did you leave him on Genesis? Spock trusted you, and you denied him his future. My son, a future? Only his body was in death, Kirk, and you were the last one to be with him. Yes, I was. Then you must know that you should have come with him to Vulcan. But why? Because he asked you to. He entrusted you with his very essence, with everything that was not of the body. He asked you to bring him to us and to bring that which he gave you, his katra, his living spirit. Sir, your son meant more to me than you can know. I'd have given my life if it would have saved his. Believe me when I tell you, he made no request of me. He would not have spoken of it openly. Then how is Kirk, it? I must have your thoughts. May I join your mind? Certainly. He spoke of your friendship. Yes. He asked you not to grieve. Yes. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Or the one. Live long and prosper. No. Forgive me. It is not here. I had assumed he mind-melded with you. It is the Vulcan way, when the body's end is near. We were separate. He couldn't touch me. I see. And everything that he was, everything he knew, is lost. Please wait. He would have found a way if there was that much at stake. Spock would have found a way. Yes. But how? What if he joined with someone else? 